My name is Catherine Eisman and I'm a lifestyle expert. Catherine Eisman's here. You're a lifestyle expert. Catherine Eisman, author of How to Tell a Woman by Her Handbag. It's my job to understand men so you don't have to. What I see a lot, which I absolutely detest, is people wearing fantastic dresses and not working it. It's not about the dress, it's about you. Women reveal themselves in the details, not the grand declarations of who we say we are. It's not what we tell men in our lives, certainly. Right. It's the little things that we have that we don't think anyone else will notice. Reese on the red carpet in her early days were just okay. A little bit frumpy, a little bit girl next door in the wrong way. It wasn't until Pleasantville that we saw Reese really emerge as a style star. They say that blondes have more fun, which is definitely true, but I think there's something about a high style blonde that captivates our imagination. Look at this, guys. This, there's a lot of metallic here, okay? There's a lot of metallic inside. This is someone who's not afraid of shining bright, Look at you. being a star, being recognized. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. Rihanna, after she's gone through everything she's yeah, gone through, she needs some protection. She really did, and she went away from the softer bags and used fashion as a weapon. How do you deal with competitive girlfriends? I don't handle it well. Apparently, your wife started crying when you told her you were going to do it. Yes. You seem to have this girl power thing going, that you have this beauty that really genuinely radiates out of you. You're on a plane with Janice Dickinson, is that correct? That, that makes you a little yeah. bit more afraid of flying? That mime background, that, that theatrics just is resonant, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Hudson, you, wherever you go, I feel like the party has started. <laughs> Even in this I like room. it, I like it. Justin Timberlake broke up with Jessica Biel a month ago after four years together. I thought they were actually going to get married, but that just shows you how naive I am. And to be honest, one indiscretion, two, but to be made a mockery of and to do it so blatantly in your own bed in a car park I mean there's no way you could respect yourself and go back to a man like that use positive reinforcement as if you were training a puppy who's a good boy I'm Catherine Eisman and I'm here to show you how to get a worry-free workplace with the timid girl's guide to frenemies it's enough to make you put down your croissant forever or just pick it up in defeat because we're seeing the first shots of Miranda Kerr wearing a teeny tiny bikini post baby look at those cheeks he's just He's obviously a good feeder, which proves that like the rest of the country, he enjoys mummy's breasts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever been in a relationship where you wished you could have got a hall pass? Uh, have I ever been in one that I happened? <laughs> Is it important having that friendship and now being able to share fatherhood together? Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, we didn't plan it that way, but, uh, you know. It, <laughs> you bring him up. Hey, Ben, yeah, listen, come on, right, let's get your wife year we're gonna Hey, get don't it. call him the party prince for nothing. And this <laughs> guy, we've seen him stumble out of nightclubs at 3 o'clock in the morning. And wow. this is the ultimate sexy outfit that will catch the prince's eye. What happens when you mix Hasidic chanting, reggae groove, hip-hop tunes, and a rap-style lyric? Well, the answer is a more peaceful world. Take a look. I love Catherine, though. I, Catherine, I, I like watching her from home when I'm at home, and she gives me oh, all the scoop on things. Oh, thank you. Even the letter is interesting, and that's a lot more than Martha's show was. So, yes, it's harsh, yes, it's this and that, but it's a TV show, people. It's reality television. It's not reality. Have you ever seen the show Wipeout? Yes. Would you it. ever? You yeah, love it? I would totally do it. Do you have a favorite obstacle course? Um, I like the big balls. <laughs> See, that's what your husband told me earlier, but I said, let's not get that on camera. You met at the hostel. Ah, yeah. oh, romance. <laughs> They're like, no, you try sharing a bunk bed. Romance ain't happen there. When you say I'm on top, you mean literally. Welcome, chefs. Are you ready for your first challenge? Yes. Everything you need for this challenge, ingredients and cooking utensils, lies behind that door. Stacey, come on over. Are you ready to embrace the new you? I think I am. Oh my god. <laughs> it finally says grown up glamour. The silhouette. Who knew you had a waist? Hanging on 